What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to Ursh Gaming. And I am playing Star Wars The Old Republic. It was an early access release and was able to level up quite a bit and just wanted to help you guys level as well. Uh, if you're subscribed, you know, you will be getting this uh, before the uh, game's uh, actual release. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'll be putting a lot of footage up uh, to help you guys play and level quickly including stuff like datacrons uh, which give you passive abilities um, permanent stat so you find these things in the world and they give you permanent stats so you'll be you know one up than everyone else who has not found any datacrons though um, this tutorial here is just based on some simple UI stuff that will help you level in the game and I just want to bring this to you first uh, so if you subscribe, you know, you'll be seeing this and you will get this um, information before. Uh, this right here is uh, my Jedi Sentinel. Uh, I picked the dark side, you can see my face a little more darker. Though, uh, Control z will, or excuse me, Alt-Z will bring up your interface and, you know, movie um, type of system. So if you have everything key binded, you know what you're doing, you can just play like this and it looks like a movie. Uh, like, just like that, see? Uh, that's my interrogation droid. It's a nice uh, passive pet. And, um... Uh, I have my UI pretty much set up. Um, I'm in the, on the island or on the planet of Quesh, and unfortunately, with the early access, I level up so high that uh, I'm the only one on this island, planet so far. There's a few, hand, there's a handful of people like higher than me, but that's okay. So first things first is um, I wanted to go ahead and start off uh, with um, this quest line here. A lot of people do not know, but you can press spacebar to eliminate the text. So if you would just you know want to save all the uh, speaking for your all the you know those commentary and stuff like that from the NPCs for your alts just press spacebar pressing spacebar now and it just gets me right through really quick and this will definitely help you uh, level much faster if you don't really care for the talking or if you have subtitles on like me I just read the subtitles and can just not wait and get delayed by their uh, slow commentary text and they're so or the slow voice uh, animations and whatnot. Um, with that, next is uh, wanted to show you guys some of the interface. They did put a lot of stuff turned off in the default settings due to you know frames per second reasons. People's FPS uh, increases dramatically with the extra graphics uh, pushing into their system. But let's go ahead and go to preferences here. And um, over here, uh, you have your key bindings here which is very helpful because you have numerous abilities that will require you to activate uh, in different times and needs. You have P I have some PvP ones uh, where it puts snares, it's just called crippling throw, um, delivers a crippling attack, the main weapon, and does like a healing debuff of 20%, um, as well as this one here, and like the kick and uh, leg slash, which is uh, snares the target for 12 seconds by 50%, so it helps me stay on them real as well as these ones here, these are my defensive traits here. I use this one every minute, almost every pull. And it decreases my damage taken by 20%, very strong. And you have a number of other things. I'll let you guys take a look at that later. I'll probably do another walkthrough on the abilities once I hit 50. Um, so with the keybinds, you want to do make sure your keybinds is here. You have your targeting keybinds, uh, your quick slot, your quick slot keybinds here, which is all my abilities. Uh, movement keybinds, if you don't like using uh, like the W, uh, you know, A and S and D. Uh, miscellaneous, uh, you have your interface, keybinds, a bunch of stuff. So you just customize as you wish. Another big thing that people miss out on is uh, under uh, user interface, you want to definitely go down and I activate the subtitles, of course, as well as, let's go ahead and scroll down. Uh, your tooltips. Tooltips is very important. Uh, enable companion comparative tooltips. So when the quest giver gives you an item, or if you find an item, it will show you your companion, which is my companion here is Doc. It will show his gear and my gear, because our gears are not the same. As I see here, you press C, you can see your character screen, um, and what uh, what stuff you have here. Uh, for example, I'm wearing medium armor here, and uh, with this medium armor, I uh, have uh, strength and endurance. I go to my companion tab. And he doesn't use, he uses cunning endurance. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that he gets his cunning and you're looting cunning endurance stuff to upgrade your uh, companion, of course. Back to preferences. Um, that's a uh, very important that I found. Instead of 
you know, wasting time switching through your com companions and looking to see what they have wearing. You can just see it just by clicking on an item. Uh, let's see if I have any items here. Uh, not really. Nope, not at all. But uh, very important uh, tool right there. Let's see here. So I'll take this off here. It should show me. Oh well. So you want to turn definitely turn that on. Uh, conversation, yep. And um, yeah, that tool tip. Also, your social tool tips. Um, just good. Activate social notification to chat. And haven't really changed anything there too much. Um, go ahead and go down to chat right here. Okay, that looks fine. And here we go with controls. You always want to make sure very important. Turn on auto loot on right click, as well as enable area loot. So you're able to get all the loot in that specific area and not have to single click and waste time. And let's see what we got over here on social. And then if you're doing a lot of party questing, I really recommend this. You get social points, you also get your abilities uh, faster by just, you know, a lot of people just going through the content really quick just by, uh, you know, tearing things apart. You also want to allow access to same class story areas so you can help people out in their story areas. There's a lot of elites in the story class that need help. Well, you don't really need help. You can. I, I soloed everything since I was power leveling so cool well, not really power leveling but going through the lore so quickly and then uh, you can show your legacy bar once you hit 33 which is the first come first serve the name on that you just cannot uh, wait you know you have to get 33 or somewhere in a classical quest after the level 30 and it will activate your force uh, or uh, my name in general for my legacy is force so it says the force uh, right above the minimap the force legacy so all my characters will have the name uh, or last name force at the end of all my characters throughout this whole server and that is the first come first serve basis and it looks like you'll also get a legacy title you can hide the legacy names or uh, if you want to be you know, covert about it and here we go with nameplates um, you can change the nameplates around as well but there was another one last important thing here let's see you have a quick bars, enable, uh, right, uh, tool tips, yep, tool tips we went over, all the flying text and controls all set. Yeah, so that's the preference you want to turn on. This will help you, you know, level faster and you know make the game much more uh, much more fun much more enjoyable and that's what we're all looking for and everything else looks pretty good um, you know I turned on all my uh, bars here through the preferences of course so I can see everything and I did get the collectors or yeah the, not the collectors edition but the digital deluxe edition and with this deluxe edition here uh, they did give me um, a pair of um, or actually a few different stuff that I really enjoy uh, looking at, you have here the uh, flare gun. He shot the flare, there it goes. Boom. Kind of cool. And it just keeps going. Um, you know, you work on your social points, you get this um, Republic Social Badge. Pretty cool. Does this uh, little effect. You know, if I win um, a duel, I'll go ahead and use that. Uh, you also have this here um, dancing pet. And yeah, that's that right there. And then the bank, I have like my, my other stuff that they give me. They give me some kind of camera um, that saves into your directory of the game. Um, pretty cool. And um, this is that rally ability for humans. If you want to do that, it doesn't really do anything, but uh, gives a nice effect. And um, yeah, that's this thing right here. So I will definitely bring you guys some more footage of the game. I just wanted to bring this out as quickly as possible so when you're leveling, you'll be able to level. And if you're subscribed, you know, you'll have that for hand. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me help you. And go ahead and rate this. You know, leave a comment below if you have any questions. And you know, I'll see you guys in the game.